Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video we are going to talk about unusual spiky bands in the gel electrophoresis from the restriction digest. Exactly we are going to talk about these bands here. What caused it? But first let's read researcher's report. The attached gel image is what I had for today with unusual spikes on the upper bands. The samples I loaded are digested plasmids, should be linear. I used 20 micrograms of the circular plasmid in 50 microliters. Digest reaction with 20 units of the enzyme, 1 microliter each. The enzyme is from the NIPS HF series, so it should be able to digest 1 micrograms of DNA per hour. I keep the digest for 90 minutes at 37 degrees of Celsius, which would be technically enough. I also purposely overloaded the bands, so the more faint band below, linearized plasmid is expected. However, I now expect the brighter band to be in that shape. I suspect it is undigested plasmid, but I have never seen a band looking like this. If it helps, it was stained with acidium bromide on 1% agar tie gel. If we take a look at the top gel in the lane number 2, so in the lane number 1 we see leather, but in the lane number 2 I suspect this is positive control and actually as we expect to see, we are going to see first of all bright band of the undigested plasmid. So this is undigested plasmid and this is a smaller band for digested plasmid. And this is exactly what we expect that after digestion majority of the product would be digested and would form a bright band. And this small faint band would be for undigested circular plasmid, which usually we can find in the form of the supercoiled DNA. So take a look at this diagram. How do we expect linearized or supercoiled DNA to move, DNA of the plasmid to move through the gel? As you see, supercoiled form moves faster in the gel, so it moves from this side to this side. So as you see, supercoiled form moves faster than linear form or nicked plasmid. So one more time, linear form is going to be this band here and all these bands here. And supercoiled form or we say conformation would be all these bands which we see in the second row. Just remember that linear form of the plasmid moves slowly, more slowly than undigested or supercoiled form of the plasmid. Now as for the, the spiky shape of this linearized plasmid, it is caused by overloading, as this researcher noted, it caused by overloading of the well. So if you overload well, you probably would see a shape like this instead of small nice uh, band which we see in this row here. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.